Hello beautiful souls, I'm Eliana Angelica bringing you messages from light. In this video, we're going to be looking at your eclipse energy, okay? We're going to be seeing what the eclipse season brings to you and how the eclipse energy may affect your life. So, this eclipse season starts just before the 30th of April, which is the partial solar eclipse, and it ends just after the 16th or 15th of May, depending on where you are, which is the lunar eclipse. Okay, so it's important to know that eclipses, they are basically a catalyst. All right, they are a catalyst that brings fated change and redirections into our lives and this is to place us onto the path of our greatest destiny or the path of our soul purpose okay and yes change can be uncomfortable for some as they are sometimes accompanied by tower moments if we refuse to step out of our comfort zone right so eclipses they are known for ripping out the foundation from below us so that we can rebuild on a new foundation and a lot of times you know before the eclipses come in we are shown what isn't working for us anymore you know we are shown that this isn't working it's time to find a new way of doing things it's time to expand it's time to do a little you know it's showing us the direction that we need to move in it shows us what isn't working anymore and it and it kind of um shows us a new gift or something that we can now use you know because perhaps in the past you didn't have a certain gift so you couldn't move in this direction but now it's here it's come in and i am seeing a lot of downloads that has come in over the last month this year has been full on with downloads you know it's it's a very very powerful year okay it's a year that brings in is the catalyst for change as well and in April, we it, we have just been moving through portals. So if you have been feeling a little disconnected from yourself or realizing that you have been experiencing tremendous healing, feeling this, called, this call to do massive healings, then that is because you have been in this cosmic womb. We entered a first portal um, on the first during the new moon. Okay, we entered a new moon portal and we are meant to exit at, the upcoming new moon which is on the 30th of april but because the 30th of april is also this new moon is also an eclipse so we come out of the portal and instead of coming back into our timeline we enter the next portal so we went through a portal exit into another portal which is the eclipse portal okay so there is a lot of changes happening here. So we have been shown things that are, you know, going to change for us. This year, we are in year number six. Okay, two, 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 right? So number six is a bit more of a pleasant year. It's giving you the tools that you can use to, to move forward, you know. And if you experience a tower moment here, it will not be as, as painful as it would be for those who experience tower moments in other years. Okay, it's it's just that's just the energy of this year. Okay, next year is a whole different story because next year is the year of the spiritual awakening for the collective, the year that brings in the change. Okay, that is throughout the whole year next year. So when the eclipses come, it's going to be huge, massive changes for a lot of people. This year, however, it's a little bit more pleasant. Okay, it has a more pleasant tune to it. Okay, so it's going to carry us into a new timeline. Through this eclipse portal, we are going to move into a new timeline where we are going to be blessed with the clarity and the opportunities that we need to fulfill our soul purpose and embrace a new role. We are also being given opportunity to embrace this energy on a stable foundation rather than struggling to to build a new foundation where you feel lost and you've got to heal so this is basically here it's saying here this is a gift for you make use of it okay so it's important that we make use of this powerful energy it's important that we ground our energy at this time because it can feel very floaty you know we are in and out of portals you can feel very floaty you can feel the presence of um, other beings around you because there's just so much happening there's also um a lot of messages and gifts coming in from the lyrians or um, from the feline race so if you feel um, their presence around you can connect to them and receive the gifts that are coming in so just know that you know the wheel is spinning and as we as the wheel spins we all have to evolve to the next phase of our life okay we cannot stay in one 
place forever. That's the, the law of life is change. Okay, that's the one thing that continues, you know, changing, evolving. We cannot stay in the same place. So we always have to move up. Okay, once we have done the lessons, we move into the next phase for someone else to come and take your seat and learn the lessons that you have already learned. Okay, but a lot of us get so attached to the seat that we don't want to move. So the universe has to kick us off the cliff, right? Force us to shift. Okay, so once you understand that it's time to shift, okay, you can gracefully step out of your, your, your seat, and move into a higher one, into a new one, okay? And know that you are giving this opportunity to someone else to move into your energy. It could be for work. It could be for anything else. You are evolving, okay? So trust in divine timing. Trust in divine destiny, okay? As again, change is a law of the universe. We are constantly changing, evolving. So this is the time to tie up loose ends, make peace with the new energies being presented to you on this beautiful foundation, okay? Another thing to remember is because the alignment of um, this this eclipse is, is similar to the one back in 2004, okay? So think about what were the changes and opportunities that you received back then, you know, um, you can expect similar energies to take place. So perhaps it was a year that brought you lessons, then you know, okay, I'm going to have to, um, you know, look into what the lessons that are coming to me now. How can I do things differently? If it was a year that brought you opportunities, did you make use of those opportunities? You know, what did you do at that time? Um, if you were too young to remember, that's okay. You know, you may remember the energy of things. You don't have to remember details of what happened. But you would remember energy. So if you, if, if for me, I remember I moved to a new university, you know, I was part of something, I received a certain level of recognition, a certain level of, um, of change in my life, you know, it was, there was a lot of new experiences then. Okay, so I do know that, okay, so this is now going to come into my life, I'm going to have new experiences, that's going to open my mind, you know, to grow into who I am today, that was like a turning point in my life. Okay, where you you begin to to see yourself who you truly are, right? So that was my energy back in two thousand and four. Okay, um, you can look back to twenty thirteen as well, but that twenty thirteen is the energy that um, is similar to twenty twenty two. But the eclipse energy is is closer to what happened in two thousand and four. Okay. Now, besides fate and destiny, eclipses are also a time of paying off karmic debts and accepting karmic rewards, okay? So, the only way I can explain this, because we are moving into a new cycle, it's best for us to pay off karmic debts. And a lot of us will choose to pay off debts around this time, all right? And also to receive the rewards at this time. So a lot of people may say, oh, you know, I've not, not, I've not done anything bad. There are no debts, you know, I've not done anything. But sometimes we all do things, right? Which we, we believe is justified in our mind. But karma does not judge okay if you do it comes back there is no there is no way to justify um doing something that you need to pay a karma for okay so say for example someone hurt you okay someone did something really bad to you so you took it into your own hands to punish this person maybe you shame them online you did something you know because they hurt you what they did was really bad so you maybe you destroyed them online you did something Okay, now, if you have done that, that is now a karmic debt that you need to pay. But because you didn't do it intentionally to, to harm the other person, right? It wasn't, you were not a bad person where you thought, oh yeah, I'm going to destroy, you know, this person because I'm jealous or whatever, right? You did it out of retaliation because you had to maybe clear your name or you had to do something. So yes, it's justified in a certain way but you still need to pay off that karma. So what the universe does is it causes you to pay off the karma at this time. So you go through this darkness where you experience someone doing something similar to you perhaps. But through that, you tap into this energy that will take you into the most amazing space in your life. So yes, you are paying, but at the same time, through this payment, you step into this new timeline that brings you love, abundance, miracles, magic, Okay, so that's one way to understand how you pay off karmic debts. Okay, so whatever that comes to you at this time, just remember that, okay, I'm here to just pay off um, this energy and now I can move 
into something um, beautiful. I can move into this new space in my life. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop talking about the eclipses. <laughs> All right, so now let's look at the cards. All right, so I have the three cards here. Okay, divide it to group one, group two, and group three. Okay, so pick the card that you're most drawn to. And then you can look for the timestamp that will be posted in the description section down below. So you can skip right to your reading. Okay, if you don't know where the description is, it is that little tab next to the title of this video. If you click on that little arrow pointing down, it will open up the description box that will then show you the timestamps. The timestamps are highlighted in blue. So if you click on your group timestamp, the video will skip right to your group's reading. Welcome group one. So your card is the heart chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. Your heart chakra. So what I feel is happening for you group one is that for a very long time, you shut off your heart chakra to who you truly are inside because you have been conditioned that this is, you know, this is how people should be. This is how, you know, people should act, you know, husbands should act this way, wives should act this way, children should act this way. There's all these conditionings that has been put upon you, okay? And you've been keeping up a show for society. You've been putting up a show for other people that you part of you believe that this is who you are, okay? So what you're going to experience this eclipse is a heart chakra healing, a heart chakra opening. So an ego death, okay? Where you will finally, you know, drop the walls and the shields that you have put up around your heart so you can truly be who you really, really are inside, okay? It's time for you to truly connect to yourself. To, to look around you and see if the people you surround yourself with, are they genuine? Are they honest? So you're going to be shown, you know, if someone does not have the best interest for you, you're going to be shown that during the eclipse, you're going to see. So you may have certain relationships ending and these are karmic relationships, okay? So it's like a karmic energy ending. All right, so they're telling you to look at the bigger picture. Okay, you might feel a little isolated at this time, but that is okay because this is the time where you do need to to be by yourself to truly um, go deep inside. You know, maybe you want to take some time out. You know, to go for a break. You know, or go on an adventure where you get to truly be freely and wholly be yourself. Okay. Um, so I do see that as something that's changing here. And as you open your heart, as you become your most authentic self, the energy changes, okay? You become happy, all right? We have happiness. And through this happiness, it, it opens up the portal to bring in wealth, okay? So you are going to feel, feel fulfilled. Um, for some of you, you know, you have been struggling, trying to save money for something, you know, it's like you've been focusing on your future, saving for the future, saving for something. And now I feel like that time has come. OK, so um, a lot of you may be um, looking to invest in something, some sort of inheritance. OK, you are maybe a home, a business. All right. I see you doing this by yourself. OK, and it's like... Um, it's like finally you feel like you can breathe. It's all happening. You can finally take a break. Okay, because I feel like you have been working towards this a lot. And a lot of you have been working, um, putting this energy into this new thing that you're trying to do. I would think March, somewhere around February or March this year. Okay, so just know that everything is, you know, everything is going to be beautiful for you. Okay, and there's just this one energy here. I feel like, you know, it's like there's so much of the world to see, okay, beyond our own backyard. So it's about having fun and being prepared to sail into, into new territories, 
okay about having big ideas you know it's like i'm hearing that you need to go big you need to go big okay so just keep looking at the bigger picture as you always have but right now also think about you know about how you can you can um make use of where you are in this current situation okay understanding that everything happens for a reason okay allow yourself to be seen for who you truly are okay accept that you are who you are okay and it's important that you come into this acceptance um about your identity i feel like there's something here about your identity so don't resist whatever that is changing it's kind of like a wake-up call you know when your heart opens you are like whoa how did, how was i asleep all this time how was i living through this illusion you know now you can see um the changes and they're telling you to just tap into this beautiful energy okay because there's a lot of blessings coming in you just can't see it and it's going to come in one after the other really quickly a lot of you have some um have a past life in egypt ancient egypt so i feel like um you're tapping into the energy as well there's some sort of clearing happening there um sort of some sort of trauma that you experience um back when you were in ancient egypt so you're you're healing that trauma now okay um, there's a lot of blessings. I feel like a lot of you will be asked to do some sort of charity at this time. Um, perhaps, you know, feeding um, some stray animals or, um, you know, going and volunteering at a shelter. I feel like it's you clearing this energy where you did not have enough in the past, you know. I feel like this energy is coming from a past life as well where you were... Um, always in poverty, you had no food to eat, you know, food and and hunger is is has played a big part in your life okay so it's always about survival so it's not so much as oh i need wealth to enjoy it's like i need wealth because i need to eat i need to feed my family i need to feed myself so i see this this energy leaving your life now okay this truly um you're getting a lot of messages i i feel like you're going to be pushed to look into online work as well online businesses okay and start to build this new energy step by step okay take baby steps don't look back okay it's time for you to now be yourself to be proud of who you are to shine your light okay and to step out of the shadow okay and it's time for you to be seen okay this is the time for you to be seen it's like you're healing you're rising from the swamp okay you know that whole um what do you call that you know phoenix rising moment okay so let's see what else do we have here i really feel like this is the time where you get the recognition that you know that you need the reward for merit look at that vicious coming through okay so this is something that you truly want and your heart's finally going to open i do feel like you will need to make certain choices here okay so again the decision this <laughs> decision the decision that you make okay ensure that it is something that's coming from your heart and not what society thinks that you needs to be okay don't rush this is not the time to rush okay you need whatever that's coming here it's it's a uh, it's coming slowly and it's working slowly because it's something that's going to be with you forever okay it's not just a quick thing where you're just going to come in for a while and go out whatever that you're building whatever that you're doing it's a long-term project okay i also see you looking after your health um a lot of you are also looking to work on your body to become healthy so you know you're fixing your diet eating healthy and you know and you're taking it slow you're doing it you know it's not like a fad where you do this massive diet and then you're like oh i'm done i can't and then you know you 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 lose um all the all the effort that you've been doing so far right um you do need to be creative all right you know confront any fears take control of your life okay um and do what you know you need to do as long as it's coming from your heart okay you are moving on to a new phase in your life all right so let's see what else we need to know let me get some more messages for group one group one we have the manifestation power so this is clearly telling you that you know your wishes are coming through you can manifest this because you are in the energy to just shine when you do things with love you know manifestation if you just visualize something but you don't feel you're not going to manifest it okay it has to come with love you have to love what you're doing you have to love what you're visualizing you have to feel it and you have to feel it so your heart has to be open 
okay there is healing happening for you all right so trust that um there is so many different um things happening here i feel like like i'm looking at your chakra and i see the heart chakra i see the sac sacral chakra okay so there's things to do with your self-worth okay you are clearing any any all energies toxic energies okay so just continue asking your guides to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed right ask your guides to help you work with your guides okay work with your guides and tell them that you give them permission to come in and assist you with clearing all cords, toxic energies, you know, um, all karma and things like that as well. Look at that heart chakra again. Okay, so it's all about your heart. I would suggest you do heart heartfelt meditations, do heart meditations this um, this during the eclipse. Okay, let's see what else do you need to know. What else does group want to know? We have healing family issues here, okay? A lot of you are opening your heart, okay? And then you'll see your family coming closer. Some of you are beginning to open your heart to attract and create the family that you want. I feel some of you did not have the family that you, you know, you didn't grow up with a family that, that is, I would say, your ideal dream family. Perhaps you had a very toxic family, some of you. Or some of you, um, you just you know, never had the, the fulfillment of a family that you desired, okay? So I see you opening your heart to create this new um, this new family, okay? So you are creating the path to bring this together. You are also going to be tapping into your life purpose, okay? You're beginning to see that you want to do something else with your life, all right? It's about you coming back to yourself, all right? There's just so much, look at that, love. Okay, you're just surrounded by this beautiful loving energy. Okay, there's a lot of healing. There's also healing going happening within your family tree as well. Okay, if you look at the family tree, all right, your ancestors. Okay, so there is there is a lot of healing and a heart opening. I feel like you're just going to open your heart and, and you're going to feel like you've never felt before. You're going to look at the world with new eyes. It's like everything suddenly seems more colorful. Everything just seems more beautiful. And it just feels like you're not tied back anymore. You're free. Like you have been cut off from the energy that has been repeating in your family. Okay. And with that comes prosperity. Okay. Prosperity and inner peace. Okay. Um, I just want to see, you know, what comes up here with your energy, right? When it comes to your purpose, we have building. So a lot of you may be looking to build a new business, build a new house, all right, or to make something with your hands. Um, you are you are building something. This um, it's one of your purpose. Okay, it may not be your main purpose. Perhaps it may not be the work that you do, but you are doing something where you are building something. Okay, some of you are building your family. Some of you are building a house, a business. Um, some of you are building, um, building yourself. You know, you're building yourself, you're, you're climbing up this ladder, okay? You are very, very sensitive and look at that family again. So family is going to be an important thing for you this eclipse, okay? You are going to know what to do as you work on opening your heart and aligning your chakras, okay? I feel like I want to pull one last card here. Okay, I'm going to use this one, this little deck here. And I feel like I may have a message for you from this one here. So this one says, okay, you did it. Your plan works. Something grows and thrives and soon you will receive the rewards for your efforts. You can be proud of yourself. You are now at the peak of the situation and you can hope for a wonderful outcome. There is no need to worry. Okay, very, very positive. All right, very positive. I feel even if there are any losses or any cords, you know, cutting, it's like you, you are, it's happening for your highest good and you know it, you know, you know it. You just see um, amazing, amazing things happening for you during this eclipse. All right, you may need to, um, you know, do some work here. I feel like whatever that you're doing, you may need to consult an expert in whatever areas that you're looking to do, studying a little bit more about something, okay? But um, all in all, you are definitely healing, okay? So I feel like everything's gonna work really, really well for you. It just feels very positive. Everything feels very positive. So I'm very happy with that, okay? Walk away from anything that doesn't serve you anymore, okay? Um, 
you may feel a little bit anxious as your heart chakra opens okay so every time you feel anxious just pull in the pink light all right pull the pink light into your heart and expand that pink light over your whole body sit in this pink light and and continue with your affirmations okay say i am safe i am safe it is safe for me to love i am loved every everyone everyone loves me and and i'm and i love everyone life is beautiful the universe loves me i'm surrounded by loving people who want my best who wants the best for me so you know sit in there and keep saying i am safe i am safe it is safe for me to love okay because i do see offers of love coming in um i see i see a man offering the heart so if you're a man i see you offering your heart to someone okay if you are um looking to to connect to a man then i see a man offering love to you okay so the message here is there is love coming into your into your life singles will meet someone okay it's like the you're healing the masculine part of you the masculine part feels feels hurt okay so if you are uh, if you are a male then you know you are your you've been hurt before you've been hurt by your partner before okay by your by the, the feminine side you've been hurt by them so you know you've shut your heart off you know as a female i feel like yes you've been hurt by a man and some of you have been forced to step up and become masculine yourself because that because the divine masculine is not providing for you so you've had to step up and you've become very cold you know so this this amazing um healing happening here where you know it's going to open a door to to just amazing um amazing energies you know no more hostilities it's just appreciation recognition and love okay that's all I have for you, group one. I hope this helps. I'll speak to you in the next video. Also, don't forget, if you enjoy Pick a Card readings, uh, please sign up to my Patreon. I will link it in the description on, and in the comment section down below. I post weekly readings there along with some other um, messages or meditations whenever I feel called to post. But um, every week, there is a Pick a Card reading. Okay, so if you, look, if you enjoy readings like that, do check that out um i will also be posting your may reading soon so look out for that as well thank you for watching i love you all bye welcome group two so let's look at your cards so group two you have the malachite and it says prosperity there is a positive shift in your flow of divine support okay so Let's pull a few more cards here to get a bit more clarification. Okay, I feel like this is to do with your wealth. Yes, here we go. So your wealth and we have career, sorry, career, right, career. And then I'll show you the other cards later, okay? So there is definitely going to be a change when it comes to your work, okay? Um, some of you, if you've been trying to apply for a new job, I see that your job applications will have good prospects okay so there's something here um i feel like you found your voice again to do something you're doing something with your work okay so whatever that you're doing um i do feel like it's a blessing that's coming in from something okay so if you look at that we have the dog here that says protection from a powerful friend and i feel like this is basically saying that all the good that you did all that you gave away is being is being returned to you so if you're someone who has done charity you are someone who has helped your friends you are someone who has genuinely did work without being calculative right you have shared a lot of your energy right i see it all coming back to you now okay and you're gonna get all the answers that you need everything that you've been you know you haven't been sure about you're gonna get it all now you're gonna have people coming in to help you all right and you know you've been in a very unsettled time before right you've had to to make a lot of plans and i see that you have done that okay but right now you know because there is this new energy coming in right there's a lot of messages coming in okay here we see the you know the fire is lit right the torch is lit now so it's time for you to to rise up you know to rise up and start making plans okay plan ahead i do see that you need to uh, plan ahead be be careful of your words this is just um, a word of advice i'm getting be careful of your words especially what you send via electronic messages okay whether it's your emails um your text messages okay be careful of what you say all right um 
Also be careful if you are signing contracts around this time. Um, this may be this may be because of um, the Mercury's energy. Okay, we are in the the pre-shadow period at this time, so um, just be careful of that. I do see you. I do see you running into people from your past as well. Um, it's it's almost like you know where you are in two energies. I feel like there's this beautiful prosperity energy coming in, but it's like as it comes in, I feel like there's someone who wants doesn't want you to receive this. Okay, so while the universe is protecting you and giving you everything, say just for an example, say you work in a company and you know you're being re you're going to be receiving a promotion. Your boss wants to give you a promotion to a higher, higher position, higher pay, and then you have a colleague who's jealous and is trying to pull you down. Okay, so that's what I feel here. Whatever that you do, there's one person always there just trying to pull you down. But know that you know because you are a good person. Okay, you are protected, but just do a little bit more of um protection for yourself to some to pull in the light okay um just watch your words as well watch what you say because things will be used against you things that you say can be used against you okay pay attention to any contracts and things like that that you want to sign but overall you know luck is on your side so i see very positive things happening for you okay let's see what else you need to know look at that you are blessed and guided so you are truly, truly blessed. Okay, this is like a karmic reward coming in. So although this is energy of someone trying to pull you down and sabotage you in some way, but you know, you are protected. You will get what you want. See this time of happiness, joy, celebration, whatever that you've been putting out there, any anything that you've been trying to um, apply for, I see it coming to you. Okay, this is a time for a spring clean here. Okay, uh, so you may want to just release all energies to assist all this coming in quicker you can i i see your wardrobe i see you throwing away all clothes giving away all clothes just um changing the energy all right there's this sweep up where you are this like the old energy is being swept away okay i do see that for you okay um again here we have, we've got check the fine print so again if you're signing a contract or you know if you're um, applying for something ensure that you check the fine print okay you will be safe just know that everything's gonna be okay um, have patience don't don't rush into anything okay and here we have communication so again like I said I, I did see something to do with with you know text messages um, so just be cautious of what you send to people around this time okay you don't want to get yourself in trouble all right um, look at that the truth will come out all right the truth will come out so there could be something here if if you have been um, accused of something or you know something in some way the truth will come out okay if someone's done something to you and they have been pretending to be really good and being a kind person then well you know something's gonna come out here and i feel like you know it's true through some sort of um uh, messages online okay you are going to find the beauty in life again. You're going to feel like everything's beautiful. You, I feel like a lot of you are also going to be looking after yourself, your health. Um, you're going to be making some changes, a makeover. Um, you're looking to feel, feel good again. Okay, I just feel like you have been so focused on your work, you know, and right now you're like, okay, it's time for me to, you know, feel good about life again. You are going to be embracing your talents okay a lot of new talents a lot of new downloads have has come in so you're going to apply your talents to your work and your talents is going to bring in incredible um new energy okay look at that financial health so well it is the taurus eclipse so you know you will expect um you can expect um you know your financial health to change okay good things just continue um working towards this and you will be blessed okay you will be blessed blessed with prosperity um for some of you here i feel like this is also connected to your why am i saying children so i feel like it's to do with your children there's some healing happening for the children and for some of you you are trying to have a child okay so if you've been trying to get pregnant um you know if you and your partner have been trying to get pregnant then i feel like this is a time where it can happen okay um for others it is like a rebirth of your energy this this is like born again you know the phoenix rising that's why you're like yeah i'm changing you know this is a new beginning for you okay it opens up a new door where you are going to be just flying high 
okay you it's like you're gonna feel like you are high 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 so just be careful of that because a lot of times when we are so used to being in that high energy you know having the human experience is high and low so if when you drop you can feel really difficult so watch your ego that's another thing i want to say as you reach this high position ensure that you continue to be humble okay continue to be um that you know the, the beautiful person that you have always been okay continue to help people um i see i see this bringing in some sort of freedom it's like you've locked yourself in a jail because you've been waiting for something you know you locked yourself in a cage and now that cage is opening okay um for some of you it's even you know this will lead to a new home life a new home energy there's some changes happening in your home here okay there's some changes perhaps you're buying a new home perhaps there's a change within the occupants of your home okay so there's some sort of um change happening there let me just see with your talent um what's coming in for you is there something new that's coming in i feel like your talent is basically your your strength whatever that you have gone through you know, you have drawn a lot of strength in that area of your life. Um, you're very good with numbers. I see numbers, numbers, numbers. So perhaps they're telling you to also look into your taxes and, you know, start working that out as well. Calculating numbers, um, finances. Okay, you are very good with finances. Ask the angels of finance to work with you. Okay, during this eclipse, ask them to assist you, help you um, to work with these things. Okay. Um, some of you may be looking to get a tattoo. I feel like if you're looking at that, ensure that um, you do your research about the symbol that you're about to get. You know, you're putting it into your body. It is, every symbol has meanings to it, okay? It has a certain energy to it. It can bring good or it can take away good from you, okay? So if you're planning to tattoo something onto your body, ensure that you really do your research about it. You may want to tattoo a sacred geometry symbol. Okay, whoops, my card went flying. Right, and then here we have synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by the synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase the flow. So divine timing, everything's happening just as it should. Okay, and then we have waves of prosperity, new abundance and exciting opportunities are coming to you. So it's all about you receiving, receiving, receiving. Let's look at your blessings. While all this seems like a beautiful blessing already, let's see if there are any other ones that want to come in. A blessing on your sleep. Okay, so it feels like, you know, finally you are able to rest. The stress is gone. Okay, because before this, it's been troubling you. You know, how do I do this? How do I get it? You know, what do I need to do? So it's just a lot of a lot of um, stress. But here, you know, you're receiving a lot of wisdom in your sleep as well. A lot of messages comes in when you sleep and you just know what to do next. Okay, we have a blessing on your family. Okay, so, you know, a change, like I said, a change in your home life, right? Moving to a new home or, you know, a change in the occupants, all right? So that's a blessing. And then here we have a blessing for good men and fathers. So you are experiencing a father healing. Um, for some of you, maybe the relationship in your home is changing. It's becoming better. You know, you're finding, uh, uh, you're finding more peace with the man in your life, okay? Um, some of you, you know, you're stepping up and you feel like you now, if you're a man and you feel like, you know, you've let your family down, now you feel like you're stepping up and you're like, yeah, you know, now I'm in a position and I can look after my family because of this new opportunity that has come to me, okay? Um, but you have to know that if there's this need for you to take an opportunity that's different from what you've always done, you need to embrace that. Okay, you cannot say that I'm, I, this is not something that I did before, I'm not comfortable doing this, or I'm comfortable here. You know, you may need to move to a new place. I see a shift there for you as well. Okay, you may want to look into a new, a new um, country for some of you, looking to move to a new country, establishing work in a new country as well. I do see that. Okay, um, you need to have the strength. You need to work on your, on your solar plexus to gain strength, to move into this new place look at that walking away from where you were okay so it is really important that you you know you have the keys to the gate you're being given the messages it's coming in it's showing you it's like here okay we are giving you this this blessing here okay make the change okay take that step all right if you take that step you will receive victory you will receive all that you want you have to get you have to break away from the attachment of where you are because this where you are isn't working for you anymore 
okay things need to come into a balance you need to move into the new seat okay so that's what i see there are many different possibilities um here for you but you just got to um you just got to accept and take that leap of faith okay one last card for you we have the fairies so work with the fairies all right you have this strong bond here so Ask the fairies to work with you to bring joy and happiness, play with good music, you know, feel like life is a party and, you know, just happy folk music. That's what I see, okay? And um, I am seeing past life issues being healed at this time, uh, whatever that's happening here. There is some past life energies. Um, I feel it's connected to your parents as well. Perhaps um, your parents' mindset of... Um, for some of you, it's your parents' mindset, okay, where you know perhaps they were like oh no we gotta save we gotta save money is evil you know and things like that so it's been conditioned you are healing that for some of you you look you need to move to a new place but then you are so used to living with your family or your family lives around you and you don't want to move to a new place because then you feel you're going to be away from your family all right so this is you this is the energy that's telling you that you need to take this leap of faith you need to move okay because this is part of your destiny okay also work with the goddesses um I'm going to use the goddess card because I am feeling the energy of Lakshmi. Okay, so you may be going, you may go somewhere and then you may see someone, uh, meet someone and then her name may be Lakshmi. So that's a sign that, you know, goddess Lakshmi is blessing you. All right. We also have, um, we also have, let's see, purification. It's time for a cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. Okay. And then we have boundaries setting boundaries love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy okay and we also have the quiet time here take some quiet time alone to rest meditate and contemplate okay it's important that you you allow yourself to truly connect to your true energy and you know do what is right for you spend time outdoors you do need to spend time outdoors you know that's why i think you got the fairy card you know spending time in nature connecting to the nature to the nature beings okay the elemental beings of nature okay um we have fertility here so like i said i do see some of you maybe if you're looking to have a child this might be a time okay and of course when a child comes in your financial things are going to change so plan ahead you know plan ahead if you want all this to happen you have to you know take certain risks you have to there's a move that needs to happen here okay don't back down from any offers that come to you all right and i do see your household situation improving okay you can expect a miracle okay i do see mother mary um working with you as well okay so um let me see if there are any other cards that are calling out to me at this point nope no cards no more cards Alrighty, so that's all i have for you group two thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my patreon for weekly pick a card readings i post readings every week along with other videos as well and um if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel leave a comment i love reading all your comments i may not be able to respond to all but i love reading all your comments and it helps my channel reach more people so again thank you for watching i will be posting the may reading as soon as i can so i'll speak to you then i love you all bye welcome group three so your card is horus and it says you are seeing this situation accurately okay so group three i feel like this whole time you've had a blindfold on okay you just didn't want to see what is happening you just you know you were comfortable where you are even though it hurt okay and you just refuse to see it you've just been putting up with things putting up with a lot of toxic energy and the time for change is here okay your i see a throat chakra healing as well you are communicating now you are putting into words what you want what you need you know exactly what you want i see this clearing happening for you okay and i see a lot of past issues being resolved okay i see a healing happening here there is definitely a healing um i feel like because you were in such low energy dark energy it affected your health as well okay and i see a clearing happening there so you're coming into this new energy with new health better health you're going to be taking charge of your 
energy you have been in a very dark energy for a while now and now that you're coming out you've got your wings you can fly your third eye is active okay you are going to be made to step outside of your comfort zone okay and that's going to be a little bit hard because you are now you know being pulled into this new energy to fly higher higher it's telling you higher keep going higher okay that's what i'm hearing for you and because of that um you know you do need to take things slow you need to take time out to breathe okay you do need to make changes here you you know as you continue to heal um, make changes there is karmic energy here i feel um where you are releasing someone from your life, you are forgiving them, you are releasing them from your life, right? Because you are beginning to, to realize that this is something that you want, you are seeing from a new perspective, okay? So this is either a reconciliation of someone coming back into your life, or this is you now, if you are single and you are looking for your divine partner, there is this beautiful soulmate coming into your life, okay? And I feel like you have shared a lifetime um, in different and in different um, realm before you have had a lifetime together in Atlantis as well both of you are very into um, frequency sound vibration you just heal through that you know your your vibration matches it's like a it's like you know it's like you fit in a in a beautiful puzzle it's like your vibration when you put it together it can become one that's how beautiful this connection is I am seeing that okay so a lot of you um, are going to be united this eclipse is going to change your energy to put you in a place where you will be united with your soulmate okay and whatever that happened before any i feel like a lot of you had a lot of maternal um issues you know um and i feel it's 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 whatever that happened before you know whether it was illness or you were um in a place where you were trying to study you were trying to heal um you were putting up with certain things you were paying off karmic debts whatever that was the reason why you couldn't meet in the past and divine timing this is the time you will meet this is the year you are going to meet okay so you do need to open your heart all right because it is time for you to reconcile okay it's coming back together okay so let me just shuffle this card here. I feel like this is meant to be, okay? This is like truly together you will change the world. That's how I feel. You know, there's so much that will change because it's it's about your... This is, It's connected to your purpose. It's connected to your life purpose, to your, to your recognition. You know, there's something, there's something here where I feel like... Um, it is connected to whatever that you're meant to be doing destiny okay um you have incredible protection from 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 your guides all right and um you're moving away from this energy of dissatisfaction okay and i feel like everything will come together here in september okay so the eclipse brings in the energy so it will happen anytime right and then you know by by september you know there's gonna be there's going to be some changes here you might meet, maybe even before, okay? Um, and this will heal a lot of things. This will bring a lot of healing into your life because it's your, your what's coming in for you, this eclipse is like a healing when it comes to your family, when it comes to your, yeah, it's like, because some I'm seeing friends who are family as well, so I am seeing it as your tribe. That would be the word, your family, your tribe, okay? There's a lot of um, changes. It's like you are creating a tribe that will be your family, okay? Um, I do feel like there are people who want to come between what you, between what you want, okay? Maybe someone, maybe an ex wants to come back, okay? And if you take the ex back, then, you know, you're not going to meet this new person because we've got the lily here, the spiritual love, okay? And just next to it, we have the fox. So it's like someone that wants to, you know, I feel like come between you, okay? You know, um, so... I feel like a lot of you are resolving any family matters that you have so that this new energy can come in and you're going to experience love like never before. Um, a lot of you have been on a drought. So here it all comes back. Okay. So there's a lot of change there as well, but you feel like, okay, you know, I can change now. I can, um, I can go on this new journey. Okay. So you are being 
sent into this new new journey where you're restarting something with someone okay you're restarting this new energy and with this brings in you know prosperity you know this this material wealth and spiritual growth okay um just keep working on healing because i feel a lot of you are very angry inside you're still holding on to a lot of anger so do some meditations where you know you just allow yourself to release any anger that you hold right now as i'm talking i feel the pain in my chest it's like you know it, it's hard for you to breathe because you've had to always protect yourself and this i feel a lot of heart pain whatever that you experienced before i feel you've made a lot of sacrifices in your life and it's always the person that you love the most the closest to you who you want to build a family with that person hurts you okay so i see you healing from this and i see you clearing karmic energy so that you can move on and any medical issues you have some of you i feel like because i'm having difficulty breathing right now it could be asthma it could be some chest pain it could be even like something more serious like breast cancer you know something there something to do with your lungs with your heart with your chest okay in that area i see a healing happening here as you open your eyes okay and trust trust what you see okay because i feel like a lot of you are able to tap into multiple dimensions you are you know you're able to see things that others can't see right and because what you see is painful you shut one eye you don't want to know you don't want to see because it hurts okay but right now you're being shown things as well that doesn't make sense to you things that if you tell people people would say oh she's crazy you know something's not right with her or, or he's crazy or he's 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 delusional or whatever right but you got to trust what you see you're getting the messages trust it okay you don't need you don't need for the universe to bring in proof and show it on a sil silver platter for you you gotta trust okay you gotta trust what you are seeing okay and right now you may start to plan um this move if you're looking to move out or if you're looking to bring someone in i feel like you know you are clearing your karmic energy um you are healing any karmic um relationships as well you're changing things within the akashic records okay i am seeing a huge journey that you are taking okay you're taking a huge journey in you are healing your sacral chakra that's definitely there your sacral chakra has been shut and your energy has been out of balance so it kind of brought a dissatisfaction in life okay but right now things are changing for you okay you might feel a little anxious at some point but just have patience because you know the things are going to be so beautiful for you i can see that okay let's see what else do you need to know we have closure look at that closure so truly cutting the cords okay cut the cords anyone that is still karmic okay forgiveness as well forgive and walk away right no longer holding on to that um to that energy okay psychic ability look at that your third eye here okay so that's very powerful and then we've got dreams okay so you are getting messages in your dreams so pay attention if there's a song or a certain word or a certain sound that you hear in your dream that's kind of um guiding you to where you need to be because you know group three what it feels like it feels like you have been in so much pain you have experienced so much pain betrayal from those closest those who are meant to love you and look after you that that now you know what the universe, universe wants to do what the angels want to do is they just want to hold you close and just give you all the love and and protect you and that's why you know they're bringing in the spiritual love it's just it's just this beautiful loving comfort they just want to give it to you because that's your energy you're just a very beautiful kind kind open hearted person okay um for some of you i feel like you may even want to get a lily plant okay um you know get a beautiful peace lily or you know a nice lily plant and keep that in your house um to invite this love in you see the love that comes in it's a spiritual love so you know all the answers that you need are coming you will know what to do okay so trust that um have compassion for yourself right and also look at that you know how i say you gotta trust that okay you gotta trust what is happening here okay um connect to your friends okay set boundaries with your friends as well i feel like you over give to everyone you over give things to everybody um you gotta ensure that you set boundaries and those who don't respect your boundaries let them go 
Okay, let them go. Those who love and respect you will respect you when it comes to your friend circles as well. Okay, you're going to feel very empowered as you make this change. Okay, have confidence that you can do it. Okay, you always feel like you can't, you can't. Okay, but you can. Okay, you can. And once you're surrounded by this energy, life is going to change for you. Okay, um, I see something new coming in in August during the Lionsgate portal. So... That might be a very important time for you, okay? That might be very powerful. There we go, the downloads, okay? When you dream um, the crown chakra here, when you go to sleep at night, when you dream, okay? Um, also work with your spirit animal, your guide, okay? Let me just pull this to see who wants to come in. Who may some of your animal guide be? Who could they be? We've got the badger here okay so this is again you know bringing your life into a balance okay and seeing from a different perspective and finding finding the right person okay the right person there's someone looking out for you okay there's someone looking out for you so we have got that there okay and um you haven't met this person yet you know if you're going to meet someone who's going to completely you know change your life and you know feel all this love whether it's a friend or a lover you haven't met this person yet okay so again you've got the bird here so work with the bird spirit okay whoever that you want to connect to whichever bird that you feel is calling out to you is it an eagle okay um in one of my readings in patreon i know i kept uh, saying the word um torumakto which was this bird in Avatar. And then I kept going on and on to a point. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm talking about Avatar. And yeah, that's a, that's a reading on Patreon. If you sign up to Patreon, you can watch that reading. It's I, I don't remember which group, but one of the groups had that. And I'm just kind of seeing that same energy here, you know, where he jumps onto the higher bird, you know, and and he sees, he, he, get, he, he gets the bird by... Um, doing it a different way by going from above right so from a different perspective because he knows that the bird never looks up so he's able to conquer the bird and make the bird into his ride okay so i am seeing that energy there here okay um you've got a lot of blessings a lot of you have might have a pet if you have a pet dog that dog is is one of your soulmates and the dog is just giving you a lot of blessings okay you've got to step up I feel like you are surrounded by sharks, okay? And it's like you are this beautiful um, Lemurian whale with all this Lemurian energy, um, you know? And then there's, and this is Atlantis energy as well. You've got all those, you know, powerful energies coming in. And then you have sharks all around you just waiting to attack. Okay, so let's see what else you need to know how else are you going to be affected during this time okay um we have art here so continue to express yourself okay um you are powerful energy healers so i feel like at this time you may need to do some energy healing as well a lot of you are born to be healers okay so because you can see beyond what other people can't see you heal you heal energy not just on a basic level you heal things on an astral level as well okay so you are healing things from beyond this dimension okay um but you have to come into acceptance that this is who you are it's important that you do that okay and you're not meant to do things by yourself whatever that you're doing you're meant to ask for help Okay, so ask your guides for help. Give them permission to come in and assist you. Okay, we also have the Cupid here. So this is truly telling me that, you know, uh, there's, there's love that wants to come in. There's just so much of um, beautiful, beautiful loving energy coming in that will awaken your love for life itself. Okay, but you have to make the decision to accept and enjoy romance. Okay, because this will trigger this awakening. Because when you were young, you always wanted this. You wanted your own family. You dreamt about it. You know, you have your own family. And you know, whether it's your pets or children, whatever. You had this dream that this is what you want. But somehow, you know, unfortunately, you were hurt by the ones that you thought 
we're going to protect you okay so right now they're telling you to look at all the other options that are available okay take action all right take action um you may need to to move in a new direction to be your true authentic self if you do that here you go okay you will you will be in this energy of receiving everything that you want the sun okay you will be happy you will feel fulfilled okay there's a door to personal healing and happiness all right um so you can see the horse here okay um you are in complete balance in your energy as well and i see you attracting you know beautiful people i see you know that you are someone who is very intelligent you think and the person that you attract into your life right or the friendships or the relationship that you attract is also you know someone who is very intelligent they think you know they don't they don't they're not they're healed you know when people are healed when say you have an argument with them they can talk to you rationally but when someone's unhealed and you argue they say things that don't make sense you know, it's like if you say, oh, you're not paying attention to me, they will change it and become really dramatic and they will say something else. And you're like, where did that come from? What's that about? What? I'm sorry, what? How is that connected to what I just told you? It'll be like that, you know, and th those those are like the narcissistic gaslighting um, energy, right? And while, yes, you know, we, there are many narcissists out there, but how did they become a narcissist? Because they have been wounded, but they never chose to heal. Okay, so whoever that's coming in, I feel they are very awakened. They are very connected to, you know, to to these other realms. Okay, and they are very sharp in their mind. So when you talk, because that's you, you are like that as well. So, you know, you will have this, this, it just feels beautiful. Okay, it's just beautiful. Look at that healing. So the eclipse will bring you a lot of um, relationship healing. It's going to transform your life. Okay. Um joy look at that the bird there joy okay there's just good stuff i see good friendships there's miracles okay so while it may hurt to walk away from something okay walking away from new energy but there's a renewal here where things are going to change okay and it will you will be successful in whatever that you're trying to achieve okay reaching this higher path of enlightenment right and you have moved through this passage here of you know walking through this it's like you've freed yourself i feel like in the past you were walking through this maze and every time you you know you, you reach the wrong like a block that's what they're showing me a maze and you're walking through and then every time you reach a dead end you meet someone who hurts you because you can't go through there so you have to come back into a new thing and finally now you just you know you have moved up and you can see the maze from above and you know which way to direct yourself out again look at that the bird okay so connect to this bird energy see from a different perspective okay Let's look at this card here. What do you need to know? So we have here, okay, healing from your heartbreak, healing from your broken heart, okay? Surrounded by good fortune, the rainbow, okay? I see you making changes, exercising, you know, taking charge of your energy. Um, I see you even applying for something new, signing a new contract or signing an a, a, a end contract. We are walking away from something because it's time for you to balance up the energies, okay, balance up the whatever that you've been feeling. Okay, so trust your intuition no matter how crazy it may sound and no matter what people tell you, oh, you know, you're crazy, you believe in all these things or, oh, you know, you're just being paranoid. Oh, it's not like that. Okay, you need to trust yourself okay group three don't listen to what other people have to say okay trust your energy okay and you need you need to step up look at that the priestess okay the priestess and then we have the leap of faith okay you are changing things within the akashic i am seeing that that's for sure you know the akashic energy right so now let's look at what blessings will come to you during the eclipse season we have a blessing of fire. So this is literally burning away your past. Okay, burning away karmic ties, karmic energy. Okay, and then you're going to be, you know, I feel like the air is going to to really um, ignite the fire even more. It's really going to help the fire burn even more and then help you fly, move into a new direction. 
okay you are going to be blessed with great health you will grow old okay so that is a blessing on its own you know a blessing to grow old because i feel like in the past you felt like you've been sick you've been unwell or you know you're gonna grow all by yourself or you're not going to grow you know you're not gonna have a full life but things are changing here okay and i feel that's because here we've got spiritual love right so a blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship so whether it's a friendship or a relationship this is just going to bring you incredible joy and happiness okay that's all i have for you group three um don't forget to to um, sign up to my patreon if you enjoy readings like this i post readings every week okay so for weekly pick a card reading sign up to my patreon i will put the link in the comments and in the description section down below also don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will be posting the may reading soon as soon as i have time to to end channel and connect to the may's energy okay thank you so much for watching i love you all bye